ஹாய் மைடிய ஸ்டூடன்ட் வாழ்க வளமுடன் படியுங்கள் கவனத்துடன் வீடியோவை பாருங்கள் மிக மிக கவனத்துடன் இன்றைய பதிவில நம்ம பார்க்கக்கூடிய தலைப்பு என்னன்னா அண்ட் ஈஸி வே ஆஃப் லேர்னிங் அல்ஜிபிரா ஆப்டர் வாட்சிங் தி வீடியோ லைக் இட் கமெண்ட் இட் ஷேர் இட் அண்ட் பிரெஸ் த பெல் லைக்கான் லெட் அஸ் என்டர் இன் டு த வீடியோ எஸ் அல்ஜிபிரா There is a saying for this, Algebra is a Cobra which makes Cabra. Cobra, we all know that it is a poisonous snake. We are all afraid of it, isn't it? But we should not get afraid of Algebra. It's a very easy, very easy to learn. That Algebra. In Algebra, we use letters and numbers. in we use small letters that is in english no small alphabets a b x y and so on anything can be used those letters are said to be in algebra they are called variables i repeat again we use letters and numbers in algebra we use only small letters of alphabet a b x y like that Uh, etc they are said to be variables in olden days we found missing numbers how let us see suppose the sum of two numbers is given sum of two numbers is 7 sum of two numbers is 7 one of the number is 4 what is the other number that missing number what is that missing number there are two ways to find out because one of the number which is given as 4 after 4 till you get 7 you have to keep on telling that is 4 in the mind after 4 5 6 7 then the answer will be 3 only that unknown number is said to be variable in algebra now look at the board you see here that missing number now it's a question mark is there you have to find out the missing number the circle plus 3 is equal to 7 now how do you find out the missing number you can find out in two way that is 7 minus 3 you get 4 it's a easy way of it otherwise till you get the thing 7 you can keep on adding also in both the ways you can after 3 4 5 6 7 you can hence the answer is Four alone. That is this unknown term. This is the missing number. Normally we keep it as x. X plus three is equal to seven. What is the value of x? That x is called here variable. In olden days, let it be x. We have normally like that. Another one is given. See that the circle. That missing number you are supposed to find out. This is dash blank. Anything we can have it minus two is equal to nine. what will be in the circle which number you are supposed to put in the circle the answer is 11 because if you subtract 2 from this 11 only you get the answer as 9 now here also x the same thing i have written look at here this circle is x you can have this is the unknown quantity x plus 3 is equal to 7 that answer what is the missing number what is the missing letter what is the value of x if they are 7 minus 3 that is the answer is 4 like that y minus 2 is equal to 9 what is the missing number missing letter that here uh, you, that is to find out y what you have done that is the 11 11 minus 2 is equal to 9 the answer is 11 here hence in this x the circle i have put x as well as y that is the small letter these two these are all called variables in algebra now you should know there are number of terms uh, in new terms in algebra what are the things before we start doing we should know for example it is given see 7x 7x if it is given 7 is called coefficient here the number the number is said to be coefficient and sometime you can see two single numbers alone that is 2 3 5 7 they
they are called in algebra constant they are called in algebra constant now sin is very very important in algebra what do you mean by sin here plus minus all those things no now is a left side sign in any term the left side sign only belongs to this for example now i have given 2x that means what plus 2x whenever if anyone who ask you to come on read out from the board me when you say 2x what is the first term mean 2x you should not say you are supposed to use plus 2x we have to tell plus 2x like that 11y if it is given second word we are asked say 11y Uh, in sometimes and all there is no sign in the left side assume that it is plus hence the left side sign belongs to the following term it doesn't mix with only the left side side then plus 2x here plus 11y next one you should know uh, no sign <coughs> left mean assume that is what that the 11y there is no sign so there is no sign mean assume that it is plus now we can ask one question 7x is there no 7 is the number x is the letter now in between number and the letter what do the thing mean it is called 7 into x 7 multiply by x 7 times of x that's why you the word 7 times of x now next normally they are what are the like terms and unlike term now like terms means what same variables and powers also will be same variable mean we know very well now is example is given see 9x power 2 plus 7x power 2 minus 3x power 2 here the variable is x same variable powers also same and they are all called like term they are all called like term now here also see Why we can use the different variable that is here y y is another variable phi y plus phi y plus three y minus y they are also called like term here what they are having y alone one variable we have used power is also same hence it is said to be like terms then unlike terms means what it's just opposite they do not have the same variables they don't have the Same power. Now look at here. Nine x squared. We have to we have to read it out. Plus nine x squared. Minus seven y. Minus thirteen x y. Different here x is the variable. Here y is the variable. Here x y is the variable. And they are called unlike terms. Now suppose if you are given together, if you are asked to sort out. Now look at here. 11x square, 7xy, 3x plus 10xy plus x square minus 7x square uh, minus 3xy or plus 3xy or 15x it is given. Now if you are asked to uh, collect or uh, only like terms alone, mean you see I have uh, put circle for the uh, red angle. The help of the reading you see 11x square. That means plus 11x squared minus 7x squared. Here there is you can see that plus x squared. All these things are Set to be like term. Now look at here. X Y is another variable. Now plus seven X Y is there. Plus three X Y is there. These two are like terms. Now three X is there. Minus fifteen X is there. These two are like terms again. And in this way, if it is given mixture, you should know how to find out like terms and unlike terms. Like terms mean same variable, same power. Unlike term mean they don't have the same variable or same power. now in algebra even we you people come across these terms also monomial binomial trinomial and polynomial now from the very word we can say mono mean only one one term will be there one term if it is there it is called monomial for example 3xy of course it is plus 3xy it is only one term now 4p squared this only one term again uh, like that b alone only letter is alone given uh, or six six uh, if it is there that is a constant or it is also monomial monomial there will be only one term in the case of binomial look at there are two terms will be there now i have given example see 
टू ए प्लस थ्री बी देर आर टू टर्म्स दट इज टू ए इज दैर प्लस थ्री बी टू टर्म्स आर दैर ए इज वन वेरिएबल बी इज अनदर वेरिएबल टू टर्म्स आर दैर एंस इट इज कॉल्ड बैनोमियल प्लस सिक्स प्लस फोर ए स्क्वेर दीस अनदर वन थिंग and these two are called binomial now look at a trinomial from the very word you can say tri mean 3 now look at a three terms have been used 9p minus 3t plus m so this is one variable this is another variable this is one term this is another term this is another term 9p minus 3t plus m this is called trinomial another example 6a squared plus a plus 1 this is the three even the constant term is also there it is trinomial this is also come under one of the terms in constant term also one of the terms polynomial mean more than two or three we call it as a polynomial look at here 12a squared plus 9b squared plus c plus c squared plus 3a plus d now he keeps on going we can have three or more Or two or more itself, we can call it as a polynomial. And one more thing, I would like to say: suppose only one letter is given. For example, here see x alone if it is given. Assume what is the number one x? That is one x. Now here you can see y is there minus seven y. Of course, here three x y. But x y alone sometimes when it is given in that x y, what is the number in that one x y? x alone if it is given one x is there y alone if it is given one y is there like that keeps on doing now let us uh, sum up again variable we use letters and numbers in algebra of course small letters in english alphabet whatever it is that is a b x y keeps on going they are said to be variable now in that uh, suppose if it is given 3 x 4 as whatever it is the number followed by that letter no now this number is what is called what this number is called coefficient in algebra now only single term alone it is given that is single number is given this is called constant term now always in algebra you should keep you must use the sign always when you say when you write sign is most important that is you must say the left side sign belongs to the following term And if there is no sign in the left side, assume that it is plus. In between number and letter, if there is no sign, assume that it is in two or so many times of the thing. Of course, we have seen the like term. Like term means same variable and uh, same power. Unlike terms mean they do not have the same variable. They do not have the uh, same power. Uh, now the monomial, binomial, trinomial, polynomial. Of course, monomial mean there will be only one term. Binomial. There will be two term and trinomial mean three terms are available. Polynomial mean more than two, three, whatever it is. Thank you for watching the video.